what's going on? It's your boy K every day. It's your boy K. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all see who I got with me. I got my man with me, Brayden. What's up, y'all? AKA Nonchalant. K. AKA Long Head on Care. Mm. AKA Blonde Curls. He ain't got the afro no more. Y'all see him. We got the blonde curls. What else? You, what else? Hey, hey. AKA Mr. Homecoming. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son made homecoming this shit. Matter of fact. Yeah, I'll give you a round of applause for that. Any, any more things I need to do to introduce? Playing varsity. Playing varsity. Let them know. Let them know. The Sharp Tony, let them know, man. Cooking Lansdown. Oh, got to get back. Lansdown. Hey, man. But what? But what? What's already known don't need to be said. But I do want to let the audience know my son is wearing a Tupac T-shirt, so y'all already know what it is. You know, he tried to say that all these new rappers are better than all the old heads, but y'all see what T-shirt he wearing? Though. The late great Tupac. I just wore it because he was handsome. Did you just call another man handsome? I mean, it's not gay if you don't make it gay. I want to give a shout out to all the guys out there that think other guys are handsome. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, so we haven't done this in a while. So, you know, for those who just tuned into the podcast for the first time, my son challenged me at the beginning of the year. He's the biggest Polo G fan. And he feels that, you know, any song or artist that I pick from my generation, because, you know, the songs that I pick are when dinosaurs walk the earth. He feels that whatever Polo G song he picks is going to be better than that. So today, you picked Polo G song called Thorns. Yep. And uh, so at first, I wanted to pick Jeezy's uh, Bottom of the Map because the other day, just to give y'all a little story, I was riding in my car and I'm still old. I still listen to the radio. So I was listening to the radio and that song came on. I was like, oh, I forgot about this song. But anybody ain't never heard it, but you know, Jeezy be like, it's the bottom of the map. Hey, 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 hey. And it just gets you hyped. Then I went on a walk a couple of days ago, and I heard uh, Kanye West's uh, Family Business. And for anybody that's ever heard that song, I'm not saying that he's saying the most prolific, you know, earth-shattering things, but he does a good job of storytelling. And I feel that the stuff that he's talking about in the song, most people can relate, you know, as far as if you listen to what he's saying and then you actually think about your family, there's a lot of y'all out there that can relate to what he's talking about in the song. So the song that I'm going to play this week is uh, by Kanye West. It's called Family Family Business. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my son ain't never heard it either. So he, he going to get a history lesson today. So is there anything else you want to share with the audience before we get into this? Nah, nothing really, man. Pull G to drop the song, S.I.P. We're going to listen to that next episode after I smack this little week song. So my son thinks that his polo G song is going to win. So um, so normally what happens, guys, just to let y'all know, he gets his friends to vote and they normally like, you know, sway the vote. But most of the people, when they vote, they have a brain. My song normally wins. But uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You can go first. So my son always normally wants me to go first because for some reason he feels that when I go first... I guess he thinks that he automatically wins. I don't know if he's superstitious or what. But anyway, uh, let me find this song. So again, the song that I'm going to play is by Kanye West. It's called Family Business. Here you go. That's your first time ever hearing that song, right? Yeah, and that was actually tough. Uh, that's a pretty good song, right? Yeah, it was tough. The TV making noise is my fault. Oh, I was like, I was like, uh, is somebody else in the room with me and my son? What's, does he have a monster under his bed? So, so you got to admit, the song's pretty tough. No, nah, that, that was tough. That was tough. Not better than what I'm about to play, but it was tough. All right. So before we get into this uh, Polo G song, me and my me and my son will have to have a quick discussion about Polo G. So oh for any of y'all out there that haven't been paying attention to what's been going on in the news recently, especially when it comes to these rappers, there's been a lot of stuff going on. But 
Uh, apparently, Polo G was locked up not too long ago for felony gun possession charges or whatever. So he was in jail. But as my son this morning, I guess he's out now. Or he's yeah, he was out like a pretty quick. Okay, so I guess when you're rich, famous, or both, it has its perks. I guess it expedites the process of being able to get out of jail. But that's not what I wanted to share with my audience today. I want you to tell the audience what was the thing that you you you, you put some kind of message. Or it was a tweet or something. What was the thing you said as soon as you found out that uh, Polo G was locked up? I said, free Polo until it's backwards. He said, free Polo until it's backwards. Mm. So he thinks that that was a bar. He thinks that was something profound, earth-shattering. I have an issue with this, and I know some of y'all are probably going to not like this take, or y'all are going to think I'm the old guy, get off my lawn guy. But... I just feel that, you know, whatever happened to the, you know, if you do the crime, you do the time. So for all these people out there that are always so quick to say free so-and-so, and in this case, free polo, like my son said, he wanted the free polo. Why are we so quick to say free somebody when the person actually committed a crime? Like, I, I get it if the person was locked up and they were actually innocent. Then I would say, okay, free that person. But if you committed a crime, maybe instead of saying free whoever, free Polo, free whoever, maybe we should say do the time. Nah, it's Polo G. You're going to make songs. And he made a tough song right after he got released. So, like, it was tough, bro. Okay, so think about what you just said. Maybe he need to get locked up more often and sit there for a while so it gives him plenty of time to be able to write all of these songs so when he get out from serving this time, he'd have a lot of songs already ready to go. Nah, we're straight. So you still stand with uh, Free Polo? Yeah, free Polo to his backwards. And it's backwards now. Polo free. So like, yeah. So yeah, so you don't you don't really have to, to, to say it anymore because he's free. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right, so uh, so the song that you picked was uh, by Polo G, and it's called Thorns. Yeah, it's on his new album, Hood Poet. Like, I played it, bro, and it, like, did something to me, like, type stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I don't need nobody doing that to my son. What, what are we talking about? Bro, bro like, <laughs> like, I felt the connection. Like, he was talking to me, bro. Was he talking to you through the jail cell bars? Bro, this is before you even got locked up, bro. Oh, this was before. They're like, your favorite rappers that haven't been locked up, bro. Tupac was locked up at some point. What's his name? But you wearing his shirt, though. But you know what, though? I am. Yes, you're right. Tupac was locked up, but you know what I never did? I never said free, free Tupac. I never said free Tupac. I'm just saying. Um, so, do you want to explain what the song's about, or you just want them to hear it, and they just going to hear it? They're going to get the same connection that you got. It's like a kind of like, Kind of emotional type of stuff. It's not like really storytelling type thing, but it's like emotional. We love emotional polo. Free polo. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> it was like poetry when he be talking, bro. Like, I feel like if Edgar Allan Poe, instead of the stuff he wrote, if he was writing these polo G verses, bro, he would have been like 10 times bigger, bro. Do you, do you really believe that? Or yes. Is... Hey, man, some of the stuff you say, man, I'm starting to think you do drugs, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to bring a drug testing kit home, man. I'm going to have to make you pee in the cup, man, because you, be, <laughs> you be talking crazy sometimes, man. You sure you ain't smoking that ooey? Never. So, um, who was he talking about in that song? I mean, he don't drop no names. I mean, he has a baby mother, I would assume. I mean, maybe her. He was talking about a. He was talking about a female. I mean, I, I heard the line when he said something about I can't be, I can't be yeah, a husband I, or something. I can't but, be a husband. I'm too far gone. But then it sounded like he was talking about one of his lost homies or something. So I was just a little confused. I didn't know who he was talking about. I figured since you're the biggest Polo G fan, I figured you. Would have known. I thought you would have known the person. Like, you would have been able to give me a name. I'm not that much of a glazer, bro. 
Come on, man. How you going to be the number one Polo G fan but not know the intimate details of the songs, man? But nobody cares about who Polo G is messing around with. You know what? Just stop right. See, you, you started the sentence right. Nobody cares about Polo G. Uh, no, I said about who Polo G. You, you should have put a period at the end of the sentence. About who Polo G? That is, that's not grammatically no, correct. No, you should have so. said nobody cares about, about who Polo G is messing with. There's no point in that sentence where you could just put a period. Unless it's nobody cares. Period. About Polo G. About who Polo G? Oh, now you want to change the sentence. No, I, I, said, I knew ain't you, nobody care about who Polo G. I, I knew G's what you were trying with. to say. And I was like, man, he a big he the biggest fan and now he's saying he don't care. Oh. So you feel so if you were to take away your friends that's gonna vote. I don't even think they'd so, be. So, bro, take away my friends. Who's going to vote your friends? Like, bro. <laughs> well, there, there be people that be coming in and they be voting. I don't know. That, I mean, it's just people that's, you know, listen to the podcast, follow the channel. They they have a brain and they can tell by the two songs what song should win. I'm just saying, if you took your friends' votes away, I, I don't think the Polo G song is going to win. Not mine's winning, for sure. All right. Um, he gonna hide it too. He not even gonna tag me in the no, thing. Where's no, the pole? no, I I tag you in it every time. And now what I've been doing because then you always try to come back and lie. I will screenshot it so I know I have it. So then if you ever come back and be like, hey, what, 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 I'm like, no, 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 look right here. So I'm a, I'm gonna screenshot it. And I'm gonna tag you in it, and then I'm gonna come show you the the post so you can see it. I don't have nothing to hide, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just admitted yourself that the, the Kanye West song I mean, it was, was a better song. Yeah, I didn't say it was better. Whoa. I mean, that's what you we were saying. We played a video. No one, said it was, no one said it was better, by the way, guys. Dude. The, the Kanye West song. No. Better. We was moving too fast. Said you want me back. I guess that's too bad. Tired of playing games with your goof. Where do falling stars go? Oh. I wonder where shooting stars go. No matter death do us part, no. Don't want to rush it. Let's start slow. Do you be feeling the need to rap along with the song just so you can let yes. the people know that you are the biggest Polo G fan? Or is that that connection you was feeling again? You just felt that you just had to, like, rap along with them? They was putting, like, unnecessary, like, sensors in there. Like, he said rush, space it, and then they... Like blurred that they, out. They, they blurred out rush it? Yeah. Maybe rush it means something else. Maybe there's a there's a different meaning to it than we, you know. Never know, man. Hey, we don't have criminal minds, so maybe we don't understand all of the lingo, you know, because he, you know. Hey, man. I think Poggi has a song name similar to that. Criminal something. Yeah, I bet he do. Yeah. I still had a total four five like Mike back. Dude. I forgot to pick that one. Hey, man. I'm starting to lose count, but this dude would have been locked up two or three times within the last six months. Because because we've done, the, you know, this, this segment of the podcast several times, and I can remember there was another time we did this where we was talking about he had got arrested. It was some of him and his brother. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. That was like 2022 or something. No, it was not, man. That was this year. No, it wasn't. That was not this year. I know for a fact he that did, was he this didn't, year. He didn't been, been locked up at least twice this year. Yeah, because his brother was kidnapping people or something. I don't even know. I think they just throwing charges hey, in there because hey, we hey, hate hey, black people or something. Hey, have you ever heard that saying, birds of a feather? Do you know nah. what that means? Bro. I mean, bro, if my brother goes does something, that mean I did it? No. But, but you don't think that it's a coincidence that Brothers doing criminal activities and Polo G doing criminal activities I mean, and they both getting locked up. Like at least it's not like little Dirk getting locked up for the rest of his life. I mean, hey man, hey, at least they keeping it consistent, right? Is that racial? So hold on, so let me get this right. So you're not gonna you're not gonna post anything to say free Dirk because you're not a Dirk fan. I mean, but, but you and he also doesn't deserve to be freed. He's trying to kill someone, so. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, hey, Polo G I mean, was trying to kill nobody. Gun. So, yeah, it was I like mean, he was shooting somebody. I mean, yeah, he just had a gun. Like, I man, mean, he, he was just speeding and had a gun. I mean, like, not like he was killing somebody. Whoa. So let's... <laughs> yeah, what, you, you know what I'm that. saying? Let's go ahead and give him them gun shots. You know what I'm saying? What, he just had a gun. That. Yeah. 
But when the times police she got arrested, I don't know what he was doing, bro. He was like yelling at a cop. He was like, "You broke, bro. Show me ten bands right now." <laughs> it was funny, bro. Show me ten bands right now. Try to retire your mommy, dad. You can't. <laughs> that me weak. He was mad for some reason, but, I but, guess. But this is your role model. I mean. Free Polo G. All right, do you have anything else you want to share with the audience today? My song should win, even if none of my friends vote. <laughs> type stuff. All right, so, yes. So, this, his song is going to win type stuff. Free Polo G. Can you uh, send him a message or something, tell him to stop, you know, breaking the law so he can stay out of jail? Get you can the, do it every one Get the Polo G fan club together. Y'all send him a letter saying, hey, man, we your biggest fans. Can you please stop going to jail so you can just be free to write songs? I mean, bro, he can do whatever you want. He's towards Tremaine Barlett, so. Was, was that his real name? Okay. Um, I appreciate y'all taking time to tune into the podcast. Y'all be good and stay safe. Oh, my God.